Okay, this is episode two of Ken E S. It's called that because it's Kenny and N E S. My name's Kenny, but everyone knows me as the Goose. And I'm gonna play some Mike Tyson's Punch Out. This is a game I've played quite a bit of. I'm not gonna use the code to get there. I'm gonna start with Blast Joe. I'm gonna knock him out in 42 seconds. Doesn't happen to me every time though. But what if I practice a full speed during this game, which I probably never will? All these don't matter, you can one shot them. I'll try with the body. Ooh, ooh. That feels like it wasn't the right frame. He'll get up at one. Yep. Got up at one. Here's a punching bag. Blocks here and there. Two, and the three knockdown rule is in effect in this game. There we go. I have to get used to having the OBS on the other side of the, of the other screen. But I'm looking at it, I'm looking to see... It looks... It, the colors are quite a bit different. They're a bit darker over there. <laughs> if I play off there, there's lots of input lag. Playing on the Retro AVS FPGA. I feel like it was a system made specifically for me. I don't know why I have that my headset on, because it doesn't have sound on it. Force of habit. Oh, everything's in the way though. That's Miguel Cotto and Antonio Margarito. The rematch. The revenge rematch. I have some scan lines on it, but it Scan lines really go heavy onto the OBS. Piston Hondo. Wow. Serious. This reminds me 
crazy. I'm gonna go to the gym after this. I just don't have my poop jumpsuit. This never actually was convincing that they're actually in motion. <laughs> the picture of this is always funny. Man from Spain, Don Flamenco. This game is really what helped me start really liking boxing. I played this at a young age. Just alternate. The reason why Little Mac is so little is it was easier to it was easier to play like that. The arcade version has a wire frame so you can see through. That would like that would probably be really hard to do on NES. Something I would think Genesis was able to do. They were able to have transparencies really well. And that's let's see. King Hippo from, it says profile and it has profile in quotations, I've never noticed that. From Hippo Island, South Pacific, um, age and weight are unknown. 18 and 9, but every win by knockout, you only have to knock him down once. many people who uh, in this game share models, that's the only one that doesn't. And here we have the same model as uh, Don Flamenco. Or not Flamenco, but uh, Von Kaiser. Coming up is probably like the where the game actually actually starts because these were all really easy. People argue it doesn't start until the second time you face Bubble Bull. Bubble and Mr. Salmon are the same model. So 
don't do the 17-second seven, knockdown. The guy that beat Manny Pacquiao is going to be a mandatory. Someone, let's see. Who's going to be? Yep, it's Ugas versus Mario Barrios for the WBC interim title. Yeah, I'm glad just more of those people need to fight each other. scene. Many is easier than the first time you fight Piston Honda. You only have to combo his special once. Sometimes have with the dog when it's not that bad. <laughs> I never get this, it seems. Pinsky. In the arcade, he was known as Vodka Drunkinski. This is something that surprised me because I actually learned something new about him. Not too, not too new, but within the last 10 years. Yeah, I didn't do it that time. Star punches are automatic knockdowns. You can do two or three. Yeah, you start looking at people on YouTube playing this, and you're like, I didn't know that could be done. I didn't know that. 
and there's a couple things I didn't know that could be done. Like, I watched a YouTube video of Mike Tyson getting knocked out the first round, and I said, well, that's not possible. I already have a perfect fight, because I thought I did have a perfect fight with them. Fights where I didn't get hit at all. But then I didn't realize there was timing. You can get damage buffers if you time everything frame perfect. Actually, I was actually kind of surprised with that. He sees the second round. Stick and move, stick and move. After you lose, we'll drink to your health. Like it's, it's yeah, drink soda pop. Pretty sure they they wanted to name him Vodka Drunkinski in, in this too, but they they didn't in the end. He just drinks he drinks pop that used to say XXX on it for um, moonshine. Man. See, just the, I adjust the way I'm sitting, and then all of a sudden I'm getting hits, taking damage. Relatively speaking, an easy fight, but I didn't show it there. This is when it starts getting a bit. This is probably the first <clears throat> real challenge of this game. I need to pay a bit more attention. You have to knock him down with a star punch or the bull charge. Sometimes depend he always gets up to nine. Sometimes it depends how many how often he has the bull charge. Right. I'm, I'm used to sitting like this with my feet up, but I don't want to do that while I'm on camera. Just adjusting the way my back is. This is a tricky fight. Because this is a fight where he delays everything. He tries to make you go to a three round decision. Down, but this is going to 
gonna go in a second. Put him away. Flamenco strikes back, return of dawn. I still went into them. I mean, it seemed like they're harder to dodge than Tyson's. Harder to dodge than Tyson's uppercuts. Mr. Sandman, same model as Bald Bull. Thank <laughs> you. 
He's hurt me, dog. He's like punched me once or twice. Don't give up, Mac. Fight! Hey, Mac, baby. Say goodnight. seconds left. It depends on his refill. Thirteen and zero with thirteen knockouts, M world major and minor title holder. From Catskill, New York, twenty-one years old, two hundred twenty pounds. This is when he was twenty-one years old. Thirty-one. Thirty-one and zero with twenty-seven knockouts. He was a killer. Did you punch him on 
same size. If you if you time it right, you take more damage. Deal more damage, but I'm not gonna try doing that. Play this in a bit. And my control the controller I use, you, there is a chance you can press down and right or down and left at the same time. I'm using the, I'm not using the classic brick one. Rectangle controller. I always prefer the one. Yeah, the D-pad's not as good. Some people complain about the placement of A and B. Okay, that's that was the type of round I did when I was young, other than missing a couple of shots. I am able to knock him out in the first round, TKO, but I haven't done it many times. Maybe two dozen times in my life. When I was younger, this was the easier part, but now since I now since the other parts are so routine, this is actually you can start getting more random, especially if it gets to the third. When you can, when you can kind of expect what's going to happen, it's not so bad. Um, one more time, we're down. Yeah, the, I'm looking at the screen on uh, the OBS, and the, the color green is just way different. It looks like the scan lines are way too thick. Looking. It looks good on you. It looks good on my main screen I'm watching. I probably should have took that into consideration when setting everything up. Oh, that might be it. Is that? That's the third time, isn't it? Yep. 14 and 0, 14 knockouts. Mike Tyson, great fighting. You were tough, Matt. I've never seen such finger speed before. Oh yeah, finger speed because speaking of control. This game is just so so good there, like the characters in it. Larger than life. Ron Flamenco. It says pop, it says XXX in the arcade. Mr. Sandman. Comes off as like a legitimate boxer. Super Macho Man, look at that chin. Red eyes, 14, 0, 5, 14 KOs at the end. Alright, well that's the end of this episode of Kenny S. Uh, I'll see you next time.